Hi everyone, Kelt here. Some of the mainstream media are tearing apart Samantha Markle for being real, for showing her true emotions and voicing her heartache over her sister's treatment of her father and also the royal family. The Express has said it's a joke and have really come down hard on Samantha because she broke down when asked by Dan Wooten whether she loved her sister. Some agree with her. Others are on the fence, but the Express thinks it's a joke and seem to have it in for Samantha. Most people who have watched Samantha over the years and even had contact with her know that she is honest, straightforward and has much more integrity than her sister. She spoke from her heart in the video and impressed many of us. I also was well aware of the fact that she looks even more like her younger sister and even sounded like her. So it sort of made me even more aware of the difference in personality, the fact that her hair colouring, her facial expressions and her voice were so much like Megan, but the personality was so very genuine and real, and she was genuinely heartfelt, with no ego or acting involved, in my opinion. Some of the papers are referring to Samantha as being Meghan Markle's bullying half-sister. I would say this is the last thing she is. I think we can tell by various things the family have said, and friends, school friends. Remember the hazing incident? It's not a joke to glue somebody's eyelashes together in school or college. You've only got to look at some of the expressions of Megan over the years, and yes, you can tell a book by its cover sometimes. I feel so sorry for Samantha to have been labelled the bully, when it was totally the opposite. It's actually her sister who has had legal action taken against her, by palace workers, for actual bullying. Not Samantha. Samantha's father also is a genuine man, and I feel sorry for him. I used to think he was very naive, but I think he knows full well that there are doubts about the existence of Meghan's children, just as Samantha queried in that interview, and that by taking her to court over this, to exercise his grand parental rights, he is making her come forth with evidence that they exist. So for him, hopefully it's a win-win, and it may be for us too. Samantha's reaction to Dan's question reveals the level of pain that that family have suffered. I didn't include this clip in the last video, but I am in this one, towards the end. There have been people suggesting that they were all in on it as a money-making scheme, that Samantha and her father, her brother, and the whole family were all cashing in on it, and that they were all working together in this drama. I don't think so. I think Samantha is genuine. I think her father is genuine, and I think their pain is real. So they might make money from the publicity. That's just another issue. The fact is, they've been genuinely hurt, I believe. Take a look at the short clips of both of them, and tell me that they are putting it on, and that they are not genuine. It's really hard to love somebody who has caused so much pain to so many people, especially our dad, through two heart attacks and watching her do this to the royals. You know, I always said I could unconditionally love anybody, especially family. But God, do you do you, you know your your neighbor comes through your house and runs you over while you're on the couch? Do you, you know? Do you still have? fluffy feelings you still like your neighbor i mean how can i know i can't say i can love somebody who is so unbelievably cruel um you know can can i can i forgive can we forgive yeah but i mean i think it would take another 40 years to rebuild that or to be able to get to the point where we could say or where i could say that i love her so um i have to i have to say no i don't take this opportunity to ask Her Majesty the Queen, the British family, the royal family, uh, to allow Lily to receive her baptism and first christening at the Queen's Church. Um, uh, we, we shouldn't be punishing her for Meghan and Harry's uh, bad behavior. 
And it just seems so sad. The whole interview with Megan raises so many questions, and these are the questions that people are asking. Why does the place look like it's not really lived in? The fireplace hasn't been cleaned since the last video, and it looks as if they just rent the place for the videos for their interviews. Everything looks like a prop. Two, why does Megan have a pile of books on the table instead of a proper stand? Why would she be making it pretty obvious that she's got a lot of spare books that she couldn't sell? Three, why are they trying to be making everything humorous by having Harry juggling outside the window? Is this to try and win people over to sort of grab them with the humour? Four, who replaced the biscuits with the birthday cake on the table in front of Megan? Five, where were the children? What loving mother hides her children away every time she makes a video, especially a birthday video? If there were children there, and she made sure they were out of the way for the video, why do that? Why try to look as if you are childless? Even the dog has no toy and looks more like a prop. 6. From the strange bulge on Megan's cheek to the line on her neck dividing two different skin colours, why are all these videos so weird looking? Some are saying it's CGI. 7. The latest picture on the internet which purports to show Doria holding Lily and Archie. Why does it look photoshopped and put together? And why does Archie look different in every photo? And number 8. Why are there no photos of the four of them? Number nine. Why didn't Harry make a public birthday announcement wishing his wife happy birthday? Did this obviously slip the minds of the people who are directing this drama? Number ten. Why is Meghan trying to get 40 people to help people back to work when she doesn't even have a proper job herself and is most definitely not qualified to do this anyway? And her 40 friends are probably not qualified. Number 11. When Melissa McCarthy mentioned yachting, so many questioned Meghan's shameless reaction. Is she really shameless or just clueless, people are asking. So, let me have your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. I'll just leave you with the clips of Samantha and of her father and I think they're genuine. How about you? It's really hard to love somebody who has caused so much pain to so many people, especially our dad, through two heart attacks and watching her do this to the royals. You know, I always said I could unconditionally love anybody, especially family. But God, do you, do you, you know, your, your neighbor comes through your house and runs you over while you're on the couch. Do you, you know, do you still have fluffy feelings you still like your neighbor i mean how can i know i can't say i can love somebody who is so unbelievably cruel um you know can can i can i forgive can we forgive yeah but i mean i think it would take another 40 years to rebuild that or to be able to get to the point where we could say or where i could say that i love her so um i have to i have to say no i don't take this opportunity to ask Her Majesty the Queen, the British family, the royal family, uh, to allow Lily to receive her baptism and first christening at the Queen's Church. Um, uh, we, we shouldn't be punishing her for Meghan and Harry's uh, bad behavior. And it just seems so sad. Please subscribe, ding my bell for more alerts for more videos, like if you liked it and share. Bye.